based on five white supremacy posters and hate speech circulating on the University of South Alabama's campus. It has some students feeling uneasy and scared and wanting the university to do something about it. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood spoke to the student who reported the posters to the school. It was a normal day for Matthew Kowalski as he was heading to class at Shelby Hall when he saw this poster and instantly knew what it symbolized. So seeing things like that is terrifying. Patriot Front seen on the poster is an American nationalist, white supremacist, and neo-fascist hate group who is a part of a broader alt-right movement, a group that someone like Kowalski, a trans person of Jewish descent, is scared to have potentially represented on campus. Happens. Uh, I was told a couple of times a year, uh, those groups, they'll just have members who are coming through. And since they're at a college campus, they'll put up those stickers and stuff as uh, recruiting tools, which is part of why I immediately wanted them taken down. Kowalski reported the poster seen at Mark's library, Shelby Hall, and in the rec center. The reason I came here is that it's a really inclusive place, and I really like South. And so I want to see it stay that way and continue to improve. A spokesperson with the university explained to us the steps taken after these posters were reported. That statement said, quote, on February 16th, University of South Alabama police were informed that stickers were posted at three separate locations on campus. When investigators arrived, two of them had been removed. Police photographed the remaining sticker before removing it. A subsequent investigation found no credible threat related to the stickers. As these posters are being removed, an anti-LGBTQ plus pre outside of the student center is also causing controversy. The university couldn't comment on the so-called preachers since they are a public university and he's protected under the First Amendment. Even though it is technically covered under freedom of speech, I feel like it's a form of harassment. As an LGBT person, I don't feel safe walking past that. In Mobile, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.